always dip the edge of the Q-tips. Now, second coat is a little different because we already have a base. I'm just going to really just roll the colors around and smooth it out. Because the cuticle and everything base is already there. Some people do what just one coat. I mean, our color, it's just actually, it is what you get in the bottle because of the, I think it has a lot to do with our base coat too. So you don't really have to do two coats if you don't want to because it's really the same color. I just like to do two coats because it kind of, it's easier for me to maneuver my imperfections like this that I could just make it even. Like if I didn't touch some of the cuticles, this is my chance, like here. And of course, top coat is what protects the pigment of the nail polish. See, this kind of looks better than this, huh? Um, so you should never skip top coat, I mean, no matter what, because actually you want to use top coat at two or every three or four days, because if you're using a lot of products that has like alcohol base, it'll dull your nail polish. So if you um, see, there's non-glossy non or dullness of it, then you should definitely apply the top coat again, and that will prolong the life of nail polish. And top coat is just easy. Just lightly cover the whole entire surface, and our, our top coat is super thick and super shiny, so, and also it's really easy. And of course, you know, torture is letting it to dry and not touch anything for about 20 minutes. So if I give myself manicure like this, I wouldn't really start on my other hand because I don't, I like to control one hand at a time and let this completely dry. So I would start the other hand in half an hour. see this undesirable little bleeding in the red, yes, technically if you wash your hands like three times it'll come back, but it depends how obsessive you are. And there's Q-tips to help you along with that so that you just clean up the messiness of the nail polish. And 